Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar and Twitter's in some serious trouble, meaning that they actually have competition. Now when it comes to social media, a lot of websites have competition, kind of. YouTube has Rumble, uh, you know, uh, Twitch has Kick. And, uh, you know, when it comes to competition, usually there's like a top tier dog. And then the competition is usually a much smaller chihuahua in comparison. And uh, usually it's almost like apples to oranges. Not when it comes to Twitter, okay? Twitter is a platform that has had a new, comp uh, new, new like competitor every month. When it came to one of the first competitors on the market after Elon Musk bought it out, there was Mastodon. Then I remember there was Hive. Now there's Blue Sky Social. And a lot of these platforms typically try to copy what Twitter is, which is effectively a place for you to fire up really quickly on the toilet, write your thoughts out, quote tweet, you know, engage with the world, and send out your thoughts on the toilet in 240 characters or less. Not if you have Twitter blue, then you can write a whole goddamn article for some reason. But uh, that's generally the vibe. So realistically, it's not a super difficult social media concept to copy, but so far Twitter pretty much has the hand up everyone's collective butt cheeks. Now, Instagram meta, oh, Mark Zuckerberg came in alongside training to be a US Navy SEAL. He released threads. Now, if you go to the actual website over here, you might notice that it's got like an interesting looking logo made out of voxels. But if you actually look at the proper logo, uh, some people say this is 666. I just see a pig's tail, okay? And I call it a day, oink, oink. Now, this is, uh, the, uh, this is the uh, Instagram version of Twitter, uh, Mark Zuckerberg's version. And uh, to understand, in the last like few, uh, in the last day it's launched, it's already went over 50 million users. I think at this point it's probably crossed 100 million. And uh, it's doing that because it's back ended off Instagram, which is again, one of the most popular social networks ever. Now I personally have a thread and I will be the first one to admit, I'm ban evading. I've been banned off Instagram, okay? Apparently I impersonated myself. Mocky Mock wants my driver's license. <laughs> No. Now, I personally don't care about using a Facebook tool, but I think it's great that Twitter and like everything in the world has competition. I don't know if Mark Zuckerberg's a fan of, uh, of, of being, uh, you know, in competition with Elon Musk, because ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, they've already got lawsuit, lawsuit threats. So for anybody wondering, yes, this is an actual real letter from X Corp. <laughs> Yeah, that's the company that owns Twitter, okay? As successor in interest to Twitter, Inc., based on recent reports regarding your recently launched Threads app, Twitter has serious concerns that Meta has engaged in systematic, willful, and unlawful misappropriation of trade secrets and intellectual property. Basically, if you read through this letter, you can find out that what they're actually alleging is after Twitter fired a good chunk of its workforce until all they had left were people that were on literally like work visas, you know, individuals that had no choice but to work at Twitter, otherwise get their asses deported. Well, uh, yeah, they're a little bit salty that some of those employees may or may not have been hired by Meta. And of course, as you can imagine, when you're recently fired from one place, you may bring over some of your knowledge, expertise, and trade secrets over to the other company. And I think that's a pretty valid lawsuit to have. You know, if you end up firing some of your work staff and they choose to have documentation or something that could absolutely give your competition an advantage, that is pretty fucking unethical. But don't get me wrong, it works from an American business standpoint. Anything to get over your competition? Oh, American companies will do it. I swear to God, when it comes to snapping a baby's neck just to get an extra point on your share price, they will do it, okay? It's what makes America, America. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, will Twitter uh, sue Meta? I don't know. <sighs> Apparently there's an even bigger allegation that Meta is actually uh, engaging in possibly scraping Twitter data. And if you actually look into it really carefully, they do mention that, of course, any Twitter websites, their SMS, their APIs, their email notifications, applications, it's permissible only if it's done in accordance with the robot's text file. For those of you who don't know what a robot text file is, go to any website, do slash robots.txt, and you'll come across this file that basically tells crawling engines, so search crawling engines, spiders, what they are allowed to look at on a website URL-wise and what they are not allowed to. So for instance, you are allowed to search, but you are not allowed to search users real-time, for instance. 
There's actually a fair amount of websites that do this. Some of them actually put no index, so they don't get searched. That's uh, the general uh, gist of it. So if you feel like you don't learn anything on my channel, at least you learn something today. Anyways, that's your web, uh, web, web lesson for the day. Let's get back to the whole fun of the story here. Now, using uh, threads, I, I have a thread account, not that I really care too much about it. It is, I wanted to sign on to it just to see how uh, it is. And generally, compared to Twitter, obviously it's not all the way there. There's no DMing. Uh, there's not even a whole lot of chronological following simply due to the fact that as a new social network, they're basically going to feed you everything from the pool of content users they have until you start obviously following people on your own accord. Now, there's a lot of people that already got a benefit using this platform because if you have a strong Instagram following, a lot of those people will auto follow you into the Threads ecosystem. See, Threads is not its own social media app. It's actually back-ended off of Instagram. And it's back-ended so hard that you're actually unable to delete your Thread account unless you delete your Instagram account as well. According to their privacy policy, you may deactivate Threads at any time, but it can only truly be deleted if you delete your Instagram account as well. So think of it kind of like an extension to Instagram instead of just posting photos. You get to post your thoughts and your tweets, or sorry, your threads. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. Generally, the app is usable, but it's obviously missing a lot of features that makes Twitter, you know, Twitter. And I think, again, given like the fact that it's had such a strong launch anyways, I think given a month, two months, maybe even a few weeks, the engineers could absolutely make it feature parity with Twitter and succeed. Which at that point, isn't that what everybody wants? Another place for people to share their thoughts and have a good time? See, I'm one of those people where I want the more the merrier. I'm from an era of the 90s forums where early 2000s, where in order to get all the information, you had to go to like 30, 40 different websites. There was a social community for everyone out there, okay? Bronies had their forums. Furries had their forums, Satanists had their forums, bodybuilding forums. Everyone had a forum post, forum page. And I kind of wish we returned to that, but obviously that's me being fucking really hopeful. When it comes to social media services like Twitter and Threads, I'm glad that there's more competition and there seems to be a lot of people that are having fun with Threads anyways. So, you know, congratulations there as well too. Now, obviously, being a channel that has a strong focus on cybersecurity, I know there's some people going, but Muya, what if it's a privacy nightmare? Because apparently Threads isn't available in the European Union yet. Now, to understand the European Union as a country is very, very stringent when it comes to privacy laws, as most countries should be, in my opinion. So when it comes to things like the Digital Markets Act and basically, you know, the digital data protection systems that they have, Apparently, Threads isn't all the way there in respect of it. So if you do a cursory glance, like just a real cursory glance right now on the App Store, uh, Threads, for instance, has the ability to track your health and fitness, financial info, contact info, user content, browsing history, usage data, diagnostics, purchases, locations, contact search history, identifier, sensitive info, and other data, okay? So this is data that is linked to you. It may be collected and linked to your identity. Then of course, conversely, you've got Twitter kind of looking through roughly the same shit that can be used to track you across apps and websites, data that may not be linked to you, and of course, data that is linked to your identity. Now, I think it's a bit unfair to say Threads is tracking you. I think every Facebook service tries to track you. Remember, they're one of the first services that shamed people for using the Apple's iOS not tracking feature, which surprisingly is actually absent in Threads. For instance, if I go to like Twitter or Instagram, you can literally choose to have those applications not track your data on an iPhone. By the way, that's an interesting video to get into because even if you choose don't track on an iPhone, you can still get tracked. Threads doesn't even give you that option and you can bet your ass that Meta is tracking you through their application as well. So there's a reason that they're probably not in the European Union. And from what I understand, it's actually just a delay for them to, I guess, meet whatever compliance they have to. See, in America land, they don't gotta worry about that shit whatsoever. Track me, 
Feel free, my data is yours, chief. In fact, most people in this country spread their cheeks wide for their data to be stolen. And when I complain about it, everyone just says, I'm a goddamn like nutcase, conspiracy theorist, tinfoil hat wearing individual, okay? No, I think you should be very careful about where your data flows out to. And if you're genuinely this worried about threads, I'm just gonna put it out for you, chief. You should not be using any social media service period, because they all track you to roughly the same extent anyways. Whether you use TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Threads, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Grindr, you're being tracked, chief. It is what it is. In fact, the best advice I can give you is separate your work and sensitive phone with a different device, especially when it comes to using social media services. Because time and time will tell you, these guys don't give a shit about your privacy or security. So you shouldn't put your private material into their hands, period. Now that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's cool to see a new competitor enter the market. Twitter is actually in a bit of trouble because, hey, they finally, finally have tangible competition. And I don't think this is a situation where, like, this app is only going to be alive for three days before it dies anyways. I think with the power of Meta, the fact that they're not focusing on stupid VR shit anymore and straight up what is in their wheelhouse and with something as strong as Instagram, I'm sure this application, if they get enough celebrities and you know people on board, which they seem to, enough creators, I definitely can see this being an actual healthy competition to Twitter. Which at the end of the day, you shouldn't have to be warring over which social media platform you should be using. At the end of the day, just be glad that there's so many different options available for every single person out there, okay? Because ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, the content will flow and flow it will, freely. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and hopefully if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I wanted to get my thoughts out right there. I am out.